Hello, and thanks for joining us here at Snow Globe Rescue. I am Tony, and as usual, with me is Allie. Hello. This is number two in the Snow Globe series that we're putting together for the video on the comparison of uh, glue, uh, what is the other one? Glycerin and uh, baby oil. So, uh, this uh, particular uh, snow globe, we are going to use glue like we normally do. But the thing is, we're going to measure the glue out and we're going to use more glue than we normally. And I will explain why here in a minute. But uh, this is a snow globe that we got at the uh, flea market. Uh, I talked about it in one of the previous videos where we had the new snow globes. Uh, I found the uh, six snow globes at uh, the flea market it looked like an estate sale and I got them for a dollar each and they're all really nice like this one so this is a uh, birdhouse looks like a birdhouse in a garden and uh, it's got a fence around it some flowers it's some murky uh, murky uh, glitter yeah. going on there uh, so this one uh, the water's turning yellow has a big air bubble and it looks like the snow this must be a really old uh, globe because the snow has disintegrated in there and just turned into these globs of goo. So we're going to open this up today and fix it. And like I said, we're going to use the glue, but we're going to use a, a, a more of it than we normally use. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So join us. So let's go ahead and take the cover off of here. And I'll say tune. Everything is beautiful is the tune on this uh, music box. Okay. okay. So let's Does see it here. Play? Uh, let's see. <laughs> yep, it does. All right. All right. So we're gonna see if I'm gonna try and take this off without using the uh, the heat or the, the you know the, the hair dryer to see if there's not too much glue. Oh, this this is not coming up. All right. We got hit with, <laughs> we got hit with a little heat. You know, I, I can I can tell you right now this cover is not budging. Okay. All so right. let's uh, let me put my heat resistant glove on. Well, this is other than the water, it's in amazing condition. Yeah. Um, Nothing's broken on it. Exactly. Nice. It I is. like it. No, it's a it's a very nice piece. It's a very uh, looks like a very good quality uh, piece. Okay, okay. I'm gonna hit it. Uh, let's try up here. Uh huh. Okay. There we go. Okay, folks. we did it. It's off. Hold on to that, please. While I get this, uh, hold on to this cover uh -huh. while I get my glove on. Sure. Okay. All right. So let's see if we can get this the rest of the way off. There we go. Okay. So we know the we know the music box is good. Covers all right. All right. Okay. So this is another company that used a lot of glue to seal hmm. the globe. And even though they use a lot of sealed glue to seal the globe, it's still still found a way to. Yeah. I don't know if that air bubble was like that when it was new, but it looks a little big, so somehow it still got out. So this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut through the glue. Can you hold this please, Ella? Uh -huh. And I'll take the razor knife here, and I'm gonna cut right through the glue in between the stopper and the actual opening of the globe. Okay. So that's done. All right, so now that I've done that, I know it's uh, I know it's not stuck, so I'm gonna just go ahead and pull it back and grab the needle nose pliers here and pull the stopper out all the way around evenly, if possible. It's coming up. There we go. It's almost there. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> oh, there we go. I got Did it. You get it. I got it. I got it. Yep. Okay, there it is. All right. So, uh, oh, it looks like some of that chunky. Uh, yeah, some of that glue came off. Okay, came so off we just. With it. That's good. Yeah, we need to clean some of this glue off of mm -hmm. here, and some of the excess glue off in there, and we're going to rinse this off. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of gunk on here, just like sludge. Yeah. Uh, we're going to rinse this off with plain water. I'm and I'm going to take uh, a little bit. I'm going to find it, a toothbrush and like a soft brush and clean some of that off because yeah. it's kind of slimy. We're going to we're going to rinse this off with plain water. And if there's anything that doesn't rinse off, we'll have to use a little brush. And it's coming it's yep. coming up from the stopper. So we'll have to yeah. glue that back down. Yeah. 
All right, and we're gonna get rid of this uh, sludge that's inside of the uh, inside of the globe. We'll rinse all this off, clean it up, and we're right back. All right, I just wanted to point something out as we were cleaning this globe. We noticed inside the globe there is this circle right here, and what apparently happened is as we've seen this before, as the water dries, it leaves behind this residue of like uh, mineral deposits or something that's kind of hard, and. Uh, so what I found, if you have this in your globe, uh, when you clean the globe out and rinse it out, uh, you can either pour like uh, white vinegar in there, let it sit there and it'll eat it up, or you can get like CLR or um, what's the other one, uh, Lime Away, and uh, put it in there and then maybe take a little sponge or something and, and wipe it and it'll come clean. Uh, but definitely, uh, if you get that inside your globe, there's like three things at least that, that'll clean it up for you. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see that, uh, residue that was in the uh, inside of the globe up here it's gone i poured some distilled white vinegar in there and just let it sit uh, for a little bit swished it around and then i used one of these uh, uh handled sponges for cleaning glasses and i just carefully put it inside the globe and just cleaned the inside of the globe with this and uh came out perfectly clean so we are ready to move on now um the figurine is loose uh, from the uh, stopper here. So we're gonna glue that back down. We're gonna use the uh, Zappa Gap that was recommended to us. And uh, this is one drop per square inch. So I think I might need maybe three drops on this. Uh, that'll probably be too much, but we'll see. Let's see, uh, right there, I'll put one there, I'll put one there. You know what, I'm gonna put four drops on this, <laughs> just to be safe. We'll be back in an hour, folks. All right, and I'm gonna hold it down until it uh, it sets. Okay, we'll be back in okay. a bit. The, uh, the glue has set, and this is all reattached now. So we're gonna go ahead now, next step is uh, fill the globe. And I have uh, the filtered water here with a little bit of alcohol in it. Uh, that way no algae or bacteria or anything grows in there. So I'm, for now, I'm just going to fill it up maybe three quarters of the way. Okay, so <coughs> can you hold this please, Ellie? This is the part uh, that's going to be different. Uh, we are using the clear Elmer's glue like we normally do. However, we're going to be comparing this to a globe with glycerin in it. Now, uh, Clear Elmer's glue, if you look online, is a recognized uh, and acceptable uh, substitute for glycerin uh, when doing snow globes. But we can never find a measurement for how much to use, and we always use two tablespoons and seem to work out. Uh, the glycerin uh, instructions say to use two tablespoons per cup of water. Uh, this globe, this is a four inch globe, it holds uh, two cups of water. So with that measurement, we need to put four tablespoons of uh, clear glue in here to kind of match the glycerin. So this is twice as much glue as we normally use. Uh, for the purposes of this experiment, I bought this uh, nice stainless steel tablespoon measure. Ooh. It's beautiful. Be shiny. Just came in a couple of days ago. So we I'm gonna- know I like shiny things. So I'm gonna measure out four tablespoons. Okay, there's one. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the globe and rinse it off. Uh, each one because uh, that glue doesn't like to come off on its own. So, so you said it was two tablespoons per cup of water when it comes to the glycerin. Gly glycerin, right. Yes, okay. exactly. And this holds two cups of water. Exactly, right. Okay, okay so I got the, oh, there's still some glue on there. So uh, I'm going to put the other three tablespoons of glue in here and I'll probably just go ahead and uh, cut to the, to the, when we get the fourth one in there, because it's going to take a few minutes. Okay, so uh, we have four tablespoons of clear glue in there. Uh, and that took a while because I had to put the measuring spoon into the water and uh, let the glue 
uh, dissolve out of the spoon so I could fill it again. Otherwise, I wouldn't get an accurate measurement. Uh, but that's why it took so long. So, okay, Allie's going to put a quarter teaspoon of uh, glitter. Neon green, by the way. Neon green. I think green there green. was some like orangey gold, um, but I, I like the neon green. So I'm very interested. Right. There's one. I'm using an eighth, the teaspoon thing here, and I'm doing it twice. Right. There's right. two. And we're doing a quarter teaspoon because we needed a, a measurement uh, to uh, accurately uh, compare to the other snow globes. Uh, so we're going to put uh, a quarter teaspoon of glitter in each one so that's an uh, accurate comparison. Okay, so. Um, let's see, we forgot to mark it before we... <laughs> Which is what is the, the front of the globe? I think is this gate is right the here. Heart. Yes. The gate. Uh, so this gate right here is the so front the of the bird globe. Needs to be facing. Right. Home. Exactly. The bird has to. Uh, the birdhouse has to face forward. All right. So let me put a little more water in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead, Ali. Hold on to that, and I'm going to lower. Like okay, I'm going to face the birdhouse right at the uh, gate there. We're going to lower this into the. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. That looks good right there. Let me see, yeah, right there. Okay. Huh? So I'm gonna push this stopper down in a circle all the way around and get it down there even with the uh, stop, with the uh, lip of the globe itself. All right, so I've got it all nice even. Here's a... I'm just pour it out here. That's excess water, there we go. All right, so it's uh, nice and even with the uh, with the uh, stopper, is okay. even with the globe, and uh, yeah, it looks good. It's straight. It's no longer lifting up from the uh, from the mount. So, and look, I almost got all the air bubbles out. There's like two wow. little tiny ones. Let's let that settle for a second. Yeah. And let's let them gather yeah. up there. Yeah. For instance, okay. this uh, this figurine has a hole in it, so. I'm sure there was some air trapped in there, so we're gonna move it around, make sure all the air comes out before we get that air bubble out. Or do we want to bother with that air bubble? It's so small. Yeah, I know, it is tiny. Might not even bother with it. Everything else is in the okay. spot. All right, and I just thought about it. Let's see how it looks see? with the uh, with the four. You know, I kind of like that effect. It uh, It's it's actually just kind of hanging in the uh, in the air there, so. Yeah, the extra the extra glue. I think uh, I like that look. I like the uh, the way it's uh, instead of falling, it just kind of like sits there and hangs. <clears throat> it's funny you don't really see the uh, neon green very much. Hmm. Seems pretty light in yeah. color, don't you think? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna get these little air bubbles out of here. We're gonna at least try. So, Ali, if you could hold that, I'm going to. There's more of them than I thought. Yep. I'm going to pull back on the stopper here so I can get the, make a little space for the syringe. Okay, tilt it up a little bit, Alec, please, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna get the syringe into the globe, there we go. Okay, so the, the syringe is in the globe now and you saw some, some more air got in there. So, okay, Ali, if you could hold that, please. And then, we're going to bring that air bubble to the very top. And then when it gets to the very top, I'm going to put water in as I, as I pull out the, uh, the syringe. And hopefully, we got all the air bubbles. I don't see any. Not a single. Oh, uh, what is that? <laughs> Where did man. that come from? Ah, there's a piece of glue inside. <laughs> the, the globe. <laughs> All right, we got to open it back up. Uh, get that chunk of glue out of there. That, that yep. I don't know where that came from. How is that possible? All right, uh, so we got to open this back up. We're going to get that piece of glue out of there and put it back together and we'll be back. Okay, we are back. We had to pull the uh, figurine <laughs> back out of the, uh, out of the globe. And uh, apparently as we were putting the figurine in, it must have caught a piece of this uh, glue that was left yeah. over and it ended up in the globe, but it's all out now. And we just have the, uh, Ali went ahead and put some orange glitter along with the green, green glitter. We, we actually went ahead and did an entire new, uh, we started from scratch again. 
So uh, green and orange glitter in here instead of just uh, I, instead of just green. I felt like I couldn't see the green very much, so I put some orange in there. Now it looks yellow. <laughs> that didn't occur to me. <laughs> hey, well, we'll see how it looks. Okay, yeah. so uh, we're gonna dry up the excess water in here and uh, seal up this globe. Uh, so uh, paper towel, please, and uh, we'll get the uh, the little okay. pools of water in here, and then we'll take the dryer, the hair dryer, and uh, finish it up. That's dry enough. Yeah, right. uh, we're gonna go ahead and seal that globe with some hot glue so it doesn't leak on us. Yeah. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, we have a bead of glue all the way around the uh, globe. It's all sealed up. Now we're gonna put the music box back on. Okay, three dots of glue. One, two, three. Drop this on here. Mm -hmm. oh. Nice. <laughs> Do not or, literally or drop it. throw it on Don't there. Don't literally drop it. You like, could throw it. You I mean, could. you see that that tactic worked or, for me. It, it did, but uh, normally you place it gently. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna let that dry, that glue dry, uh, cool actually. We're gonna let the hot glue cool and we'll take a look at it. All right. Okay, here she is, all finished up. Um, shake it up here so you can see the glitter. So, this is four tablespoons of clear Elmer's glue, and you know what? I. I think I like the effect because the, the glitter, instead of just kind of dropping down, is actually just kind of floating around the globe. It's not just dropping, it's kind of uh, kind of hanging there. So um, it's an experiment. Uh, we'll see how this compares to the glycerin in the next, uh, well, not the next video, but when we do that comparison video. And uh, we might adjust this to three tablespoons and see which one works best, two, three, or four. And uh, so, Join us for the next video. Uh, the next video, we're going to uh, do a snow globe with glycerin, which is one of the more popular uh, additives. And we'll see how that glycerin works. A side note, the glitter is a neon glitter, so it doesn't, sh I think that's why it looks so iridescent. Hmm. It's supposed yeah. to be a neon green and a neon orange, and it's just kind of hard to, it, the colors are more muted. I didn't realize they'd be as muted as they were, but that's okay. That's all right. Uh, it I'm, looks good. I'm experimenting. And for so the compare, for the sake of comparison, it's the right amount of glitter, so we right. can uh, do the proper comparison. So, but it's pretty. I like it. Yeah, it's uh, it turned out nice. Uh, the water is all clear now. Those globs of uh, those globs of decomposed uh, plastic aren't in there anymore. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so it looks good. And. Uh, so anyways, thanks for joining us and uh, join us for the next video and we'll see you then. Thank you. Thanks guys.